Vaquita are a naturally rare porpoise. There's six species of porpoise in the world. Only vaquita are found in warm waters, uh, and they have an incredibly small distribution, and it's still a mystery to us why that is. Um, and it means that if there's any sort of normal level of human uh, impact, like there are along the coasts all over the world, um, all of a sudden it becomes an issue of, wow, well, we could drag this animal extinct by just catching a few a year. Only discovered in the late 1950s, scientists have primarily documented their decline but why? In recent years, human pressures have taken an enormous toll on the desert porpoise. The population has fallen to around 200 individuals at most. What makes the situation even worse though is that there's a lot of fishing going on up in that area, especially with gill nets. Gill nets, nearly invisible fishing nets set primarily for shrimp, are the single greatest cause of Akita mortality. Okay. Oh. Vaquita become entangled and drown when they accidentally swim into these nets. All porpoises uh, have the problem of becoming entangled in gill nets worldwide. Uh, you can look at pictures of vaquita or harbor porpoise or finless porpoise tangled in nets and you can see that exactly the same thing is happening. And they're likely approaching the nets with fish in them and they get a flipper or a fluke that touches the net and they roll. It's just their natural behavior, their way of reacting to things. And of course that just makes them roll up in the net. Despite the fact that they can hold their breath for a long time, uh, they seem to go into shock and die very rapidly. Um, and so this has been a problem all over the world. To scientists, it is clear that there is only one thing threatening the survival of Vaquita, and that is gill net fishing. So I've traveled through the desert to the small town of San Felipe, Mexico, to follow a scientific expedition to search for and document any remaining vaquita.